continue with the sale of Albert Einstein's manuscript for the theory of relativity. Einstein's theories of relativity are invaluable because they lay the foundations of modern physics, including the possibility of time travel. Number one of this catalog, and I have a bit of $2 million to start the bidding on this, and $2 million now. In his theory of special relativity, Einstein declared that time can be altered by speed. The faster you move, the slower time passes. In 1971, Joe Hafeley and Richard Keating put the theory to the test. They flew four atomic clocks around the world to compare the passage of time on an airplane with time on the ground. I don't trust these professors who get up and scribble in front of blackboards claiming they understand it all because I've made too many measurements where they, d they don't come up with the numbers they say. Richard had told me that in all the previous work he had done, he had never seen the effect of time dilatation. I had. had never seen it. I knew what was being predicted and that, but it always seemed to me that the best proof is to measure it. Measure? Well, hopefully it's going to be a little bit of time. To see how time slows down with speed, they had to fly all the way around the world in the original experiment. Today's atomic clocks are more accurate, so the warping of time should be apparent even on an ordinary transatlantic flight. Yes, one for me and one for my friend. Certainly. About five minutes past four local time, which is five minutes past nine English time. Einstein said time is that which is indicated by a clock. I think I know what a clock is, therefore I think I know what time is. You seem to be following an unbelievably constant track. <laughs> en route, they collected data from the pilot then put it into Einstein's equations to predict the time change. We have accumulated so far a change of 34 nanoseconds. And, uh, broadly speaking, uh, it seems to confirm the original uh, prediction. The clock will have gained somewhere between 37 and 40 nanoseconds when we land in about half an hour's time. Suppose you would live for 100 years and you would spend your entire life on one of these aircraft uh, flying around the world. You could expect to be younger than people who did not do that by about one ten thousandth of a second. The UTC, USNO master. To measure exactly how much time changed relative to time on Earth, the clock on the airplane had been synchronized with the international standard at the start of the trip. Then, it was compared to the same standard when it landed in the United States. If we put other cables in here, that changes by... The clock on the plane disagreed with the ones on the ground by 40 billionths of a second, just as Einstein predicted. 